Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and I have here some scraps of commercially dyed cotton yarn. I cannot remember what the colourways were and I have leftover dyes. So, leftover yarn, leftover dyes. Why not use them together? I have, this is a little bit of lime pop and this is a little bit of scarlet and they're both fibre reactive dyes from Dharma. Since this is cotton, you can only use fibre reactive dyes on these. And I am debating, do I wanna go red with the pink and green with the green? Or green with the pink, red with the green? Or mix them up a bit? Uh, there's not much of either. So I think I am going to, which ones are Now these have been soaking in soda ash and water for quite some time. It only really needs about half an hour or so. There we go, that's the green done. Let's see if I can spread that out a bit. Get it all together. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And actually, I don't think I want any cross-contamination. So my hands are clean, as clean as they can be. I'm just gonna put the pink one to the side. Because this is cotton, I can just wrap it up in the cling film that it's in and leave it to set to the, to the yarn for probably 20, 24 to 48 hours-ish. And I'm just going to add this red, which I think will look very nice on here. Hopefully I'll be able to use it all up. If not, I have got some more yarn soaking that I can use it, use. And uh, did I say that all this equipment is dedicated for dyeing? I don't use it for food. <laughs> and I did wear a mask when I measured out the dye. Uh, and um, well, I didn't measure it out. I just used the back of end of a spoon to to just get out a little bit Don't, and I've still got my gloves on I think it's probably not going to be enough yarn for this I want to get a, as good coverage as possible and hopefully we'll still see, we probably won't see the pink, it, it pink, but we will hopefully still see some of the original pattern underneath. There we go. I think now I can just wrap this up and let it, leave it for 24 to 48 hours. I normally try to leave these in a, a warm place, but since it's November, nowhere is particularly warm at the moment unless I leave it on top of the radiator. <laughs> It has been a, over a week now, uh, plenty of time for this dye to set to the cotton. So let's start washing it. There is still co um, dye on the cling film. So, and with cotton there's always some runoff because of, that's just how fibre reactive dyes and plant-based fibres work. You can see there is red coming off this. But what I find is the best way to wash cotton. And if you have a better way of washing cotton, please, please let me know. But I'm just gonna add some washing up liquid to this. And then I let this soak in water for, it, well, I let, I let it soak in water um, until the water runs clear. And that could be, or as clear as I can get it. And that's usually anything from a couple of hours to a day. <laughs> it can be quite labor intensive. But I'm washing a lot of cotton things at the moment. So I've got my jar here <laughs> with the of soapy water. I'm just gonna add this yarn to it. There we go. Hopefully there won't be any back staining. I think I'm gonna change this water now. And I just Keep doing this until the water is clear. And here is the finished yarn. I absolutely love how this green has turned out. Uh, you can still see the green underneath. 
and it's just got this gorgeous luminous sort of yellow on top. That's kind of what Lime Pop does. I think if I had maybe used a bit more dye, it might be a bit more green than yellow, but I think it works really well with the, the green coming through underneath. And with this one, the Scarlet, I don't think I used very much dye in that at all because it's a 1% depth of shade, which means there's one gram of dye per 100 grams of fabric material, then it's a really nice, uh, really nice rich red. Whereas this is very pink. It's a lovely pink. And I'm wondering now if I should do um, sort of dilutions of this, sort of go down to half a percent, a quarter of percent and you know, smaller and smaller amounts to see what sort of fade I could make with this one dye. So we have a little closer look. You can still see a little bit of the pink coming through. I think that's there's a bit over here I can definitely see. It's quite patchy. And I think it works quite well because it's sort of blended in nicely with the pink of the dye. And yeah, I just really like this. I don't know what I'm going to use these little scraps for, but it was fun <laughs> to dye these. I might over dye them and just keep over dyeing them until they're completely black and I can't do anything else with them. I don't know. They're, they're good little scraps of yarn to experiment with. Thank you so much for watching this little video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday and it's published between about 6 and 8 p.m. UK time. And I do like to experiment. Um, I do have these scraps of, of yarn that I like to just do different things with so that if it doesn't work out, I haven't wasted a whole skein of yarn. What would you like me to do with these little bits of yarn next time? I think I'm going to keep over dyeing them. I really like that green. I might not do... May yeah, I will, I will over dye them. Let me know down in the comments what you would like me to do with these bits of yarn next time. Thank you so much for watching.